Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to get started with the show. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So happy to be here with you. If you tried to tune in to last Wednesday's show, the one I do at 7 p.m. Central Time, well, <clears throat> as you know, it did not happen. I'm just going to say this. I say, you know, technology is not my friend. I had so much technological problems last week on every front. My um, my social, my phone, everything said like, just no, we're not working today. Everything went on like a strike, if you will. So I spent many, 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 many days and finally had to figure it out yesterday, but here we are. So that that's good. Um, okay. If anybody reaches out to you pretending to be me, please know it is not me. I don't reach out to anybody. Please don't get scammed. Don't get, um, like ripped off by somebody spending your money on something that is not um, is not me or is not even good. Um, when I was using and using this platform to stream on Facebook, other people were coming forward and saying, "Oh, I can tell," blah blah blah. And right away, everybody was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting scammed by this person. So please be careful. We work hard for our money. Don't get scammed by anybody. It's, it's not a good feeling. Okay, I'm going to be answering questions. 845-277-9131 is the call-in number if you would like to call in. If you call in, the energy connection is a little stronger. Um, but it, you can also ask on if you're watching live on YouTube or listening any place, you can click into YouTube and um, connect and ask questions on YouTube. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Sal. Um, whole conversations go on on YouTube about uh, between people and then um, asking questions. I try to get to as many people as I can. If you have called in, please remember, and you want to ask a question, please remember to hit the one on your keypad. Otherwise, I'll think you're just listening in on uh, the call log. And I, I won't know that you have a question for me. So please, if you called in to ask a question or to connect with a loved one on the other side, please uh, hit that one button. Um, thank you, Patrick. Okay, we are going to get started uh, right away. I'm going to do names. Hey, Vaughn. I'm going to do names. Um, the name could be a loved one. It could be you. It could be somebody uh, that you and your loved one both new. So here we go. The The first name I'm hearing is Rogelio. And yes, I'm as shocked as you that I could say that. Hey, Heather. Um, as people check in on YouTube, I'm going to try to acknowledge them. So please, um, Rogelio. <laughs> is that a name? It probably is. Rogelio. I did, now I can't stop saying it. The next name, please, is um, Mariziana. The next name is L U I Louise. Louise. Louisa. I don't. I'm not sure what the next name is. Um, the next name is Mariah. The next name is Bill. The next name. Who names I can pronounce? The next name is um, Ch uh, Ch China. The next name is <laughs> Balinqua. Balinqua. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I'm trying, folks. Okay, let me get serious. The next name. <laughs> the next name is um. 
Uh, I'm just going to do two more. Robin and the next name is Cynthia. Okay, I'm going to go to songs. And the first song I hear is Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. <laughs> Remember, I do acknowledge the fact that I cannot sing for a number of reasons. No need to announce it to anybody, especially not me. Um, the next song is um, Yeah, this song has been on before. Walking in the rain and the snow when there's nowhere to go and you feel like a part of you is dying. You say you wanna maybe break up, but then you end up make up or you wanna make up, but then you break up. I don't know. I don't know how those words go, but there's that. Um, the next song is... Um, If I ever fall in love again, that's that's what I'm getting of that song. The next song is, um, it's actually, I think this is a movie. I just keep getting uh, Children of the Corn. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. I do, I do not like scary movies. And so I I've never seen that. I don't know. I I have never seen that. Um, the next song is that song, Take It to the Limit One More Time. And then um, the next song is, oh, it's been such a long song. Uh, Okay, this is gonna be the last song. So I'm gonna have it, Otis Redding. That's what's coming through, Otis Redding. Okay, I'm going to start taking callers and answering questions on the chat. So if you would like to ask a question on the chat, hey, Kate, hey, um, Jay Francis, hey, Amy. Um, if you'd like to ask a question on the chat, go ahead and post it. I will get there as soon as I can. If you are calling in 845-277-9131, yes, I do private sessions, uh, not on this number on the website. And then the, uh, um, uh, please remember to hit the, the one, the number one on your uh, numbers if you have a question to ask me. Okay, here we go. I'm going to first go to um, caller 917. 917, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Ashia and I'm calling from New York. How can I help you today? Thank you for calling in. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I have a question. About two years ago, I had somebody uh, did some spiritual work for me, some protection work for me. So I'm just curious to know for sure, did it really work or, you know, just get an idea, so to speak. Um, yeah, I get a yes that it did. Um, and I'm going to, I'm just asking a few questions privately to see if there's any area that it might not had worked on or anything else is coming through. But as of right now everything looks good the one thing i get i keep hearing stuck 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 so although you might think that somebody's mm, maybe sometimes when we're stuck it's us and it's our own fear so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a clearing for you everybody listening and or watching we are stuck uh, or there's something keeping us stuck i get it, it, we're gonna clear that all the causing kept it we're gonna clear here heal um, and you may feel this and then the next thing i'm going to do is we are moving forward with all that life has to offer us i get a no and we're going to clear that now i'm just going to take a extra moment and i typically wouldn't do this but i'm going to take an extra moment and hit different areas of being stuck for example our finances are stuck uh, and if i get a yes we're going to heal clear release that oh, holy 
pausa. The next area is we are stuck in relate within the area of relationships. This could be uh, family, friends, or lovers. We're going to heal, clear, release that, all that caused and kept us. And then we are stuck with work, employment, career, finances, business. I definitely get a yes. Holy guacamole. <laughs> We're going to let's pull all that out all that caused all that kept it let's start clearing all of this pulling it out now you may feel this you may not if you're watching on one of the channels that my show airs on if you're feeling this that means that you were stuck if you're not feeling it it doesn't mean you're not stuck it simply means sometimes you know there are clearings I do on myself I don't feel but they're still working it is still working so one of the things I get for you is that you have just been like just stuck a little bit, whether it is in your head or your heart or just out of fear. We're just going to pull that note since this is pretty much at the beginning of the show and this probably started right around the I'm looking for a, a clock on here. Um, this probably started right around the, uh, I want to say the, the 10 minute mark of the show. You can come back to the 10 minute mark of the show and um, get these clearings over and over again to make sure you're moving forward with everything. And I hope this was helpful for you. I really do. Yeah, yeah. I was just curious because, you know, because I'm, you know, I never get like a confirmation. So you did do a good job, basically. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you're Thank you so much. I'll listen. To yeah, yeah you're welcome. You are protected. If you're wondering if you're protected, you are very spiritually protected. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. You are so so welcome. You are so so welcome. Okay, if you have a question you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845 277 9131. I'm going to go to the very and please don't forget to hit the one on the keypad. I'm going to go to what I think is the first uh, question. Yeah, okay, yeah, everybody um, on YouTube is saying uh, they're having a difficulty with finding either a finding my show or getting it on. It's it's weird. You know, there's a lot of technology stuff going on. I apologize, everybody. But thank you so much for taking the time to find the show and being here with me. Um, while I'm go finding the next question, I just I want to I just want to I just want to say something a little ironic and hopefully I won't get a, a like a bad mark from <clears throat> from anything on this, but um, so uh, it's so funny. Um, I've been seeing stories um, and it's on the news of all these people uh, like standing in line to get their, to verify themselves. They have to verify themselves with the IRS to be able to get their refund. And in order to be, be able to verify themselves to get their money from the, you know, their taxes back, they have to bring two, count them two forms of ID. Two. And one of them must have a picture of them on it. Now, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, with this hi how ironic to get your own money back you must bring two forms of id to verify yourself but to cast a vote that would be very very racist folks do we see it yet do we see it yet? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Just go to fingerprint ID. It'll solve. I've been saying that for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Just go to fingerprint ID. Well, dead people won't be able to vote anymore, but hey, it's okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the first question in the, 
in the YouTube chat. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay. Jay Francis. Rogelio, Spanish from the late Latin name. I can't, I can't pronounce any, either of those. Um, this was probably related to the Germanic. You know what? I love your message. <laughs> I'm just going to put this up on the screen. So anybody who wants to read it can, I'm having a huge, it shows up on my screen. First of all, so tiny. And second of all, um, it shows up in a way that is um like i can't i half of those i i don't want to mispronounce any of that incorrectly so there's um there's uh jay francis thank you so much um for that thank you thank you uh okay hey first name last name hey kate i think i said hi to kate uh Question. We have a question. Yes. Okay. First name, last name. Question. Hi, Tony. I feel like I'm ready. I'm really not. See, guys, see, this is what you're dealing with when I'm trying to read. I feel like I'm really out of sync with the people in the area state where I live. Will it get better or will I be moving soon? Thanks. Um, the first thing I hear is moving is a choice. When you're ready, um, you is she going to relocate? Yeah, you're going to relocate. Is she going to move out of state? No, is she going to move out? You're going to move out of the area you live in. Is she going to move to a new Yeah, you're going to move to a new city. Um, You know, there are areas where our energy doesn't match and we can either, depending if the energy around that area is lower or higher, we can eventually meet that energy. So you want to make sure when you move someplace, you're moving to a place that has the energy you want. So for example, in the past, people would move to... New York because it had that energy that really like, hey, let's go, let's do it, let's get this done. Everybody, you know, that really high frequency, that really high vibration. And they would move to California because it had a completely different energy to it. And then Vegas is the energy of fun and other things. So when um, you choose a space, make sure you're choosing the area that you're going to for the energy you want to be in um, that you want to elevate to. Now, I don't know that New York still has that energy or California. There's been so many transitions in those areas. I would say Tennessee has a really up and coming energy, but you also have to make sure it's good for you personally now there are in each state there are really high vibing areas and lower vibing areas depending on who you are and what you're looking for okay but you are going to relocate you'll probably relocate you're going to have a choice of relocation on three different time frames i hear in a month and a half you're going to make your final decision and then from there you're going to start prepping i do feel within a year or around the year mark, you will be relocated if you, and again, it is a choice. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, and you're going to find a place that's really uh, very good for you, good for your energy and what you want. And then I do feel like you're going to have a really good, um, everything will kind of fall into place after that. I'm going to go to the next caller who is, I believe, 623. 623, what's your name and where are you calling from? Good morning, it's Rebecca from Arizona. Let me, um, hey. let me hit you on. There we go. Hi, Rebecca, can how you are me? you? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Good morning. Hey. Yeah, I what? hear you nice and clear. Excellent. What's um, going on, Rebecca? I have a question for you. Uh, my question is, my sound ridiculous too. Is it time for me to move from my job? My boss is getting me frustrated. 
Um, Rebecca, I hear a yes on that. I feel like it is time for you to move, but I feel like the next move should be a move that takes that elevates you. I do feel like you're going to find something that's going to make you really, really happy. Um, so Rebecca, I think, yeah, but don't, of course, don't leave until you have something else very, very secure. Like, you know, you're starting it, you know, it's, it, it's solid and secure. So I feel like that's going to be the best bet for you right now. I do feel like within a month, you should have you'll probably find and secure the 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 new position and that's within a month meaning by mid of next month i do feel like this change is going to be uh imp it's going to empower you it's really going to empower you so that's what you need to know about that and that's going to be a really good thing for you okay rebecca and okay, well, thank you, Tom. You're welcome. And one more thing, I do feel like there there will be a little bit more money coming in with the new position. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. So that's a that's okay, always good, great. right? That's always good. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca, thank so you, much Tom. for calling in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Bye -bye. You too. Thank you, love. <clears throat> okay, you guys, I am going to go to uh, the next question. If you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. 100% uh, <clears throat> uh, agreed, Karmic Karen. 100% agreed. Um, ah, la, 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 la. I, there's a, there, everybody in the comments is now talking about um, energy in different places, and I absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. Um, so that is a very good thing. That's a very good thing. Yeah, Vegas energy, I always tell people Vegas isn't a place you can go for a long period of time unless you have that really that energy. You can maybe two nights at the most is good after that. Um, yeah, you need to you need to get out of there. Um Florida is an amazing energy. I love Florida's energy. It's just, it's very, you do you, I'll do me. It's always a good, good thing in Florida. Uh, California's energy is transitioning right now. Do you know who has, like, if you're a very kickback person, and this was, I haven't been there in a little bit of time, but if you're a very kickback person, Kentucky, certain areas in Kentucky, have an amazing energy, um, uh, just really good energy. But now, okay, so here's another thing. If you know about like, a, it, there's astrology, there's Chinese astrology, and there's numerology. Now, if you believe in any of those things, I always say, check with somebody who's an experienced expert in the area and have them line you up with where you should be or what's um what's best for you what area would be best for you if you narrow down areas a little bit and choose between them i can tell you the best out of the choices for you um and sometimes i'll get like oh dallas is the perfect place for you Dallas is absolutely the, the best place for you. But not, I'm not saying that to you, um, first name, last name, but for some pe people. But it, it all depends on, you know, you and where you're going and why you're going there. 
also. Those are really important things. Okay, if you'd like to call in with a question, the call in number is 845 277 9131. Uh, and the if you'd like to post a question in the chat, go ahead and do that. So because the show was uh, blog talk wasn't working for for uh, all of last week. And then here we are today, uh, just trying to get everything back on track. Again, it can sometimes take a moment for everything to get back on track again. Oh, Kate loves San Antonio. Okay, Tanya, my dad's birthday is Sunday. Any messages? Tanya, can you please give me your dad's first name? I always like to be respectful with their first name. And then Tanya, as I'm trying to tap into your dad's energy right now, I hear two different names and these could be uncles, grandpas, friends, whatever, Al and Phil. So if you, uh, Tanya, uh, William or Bill. Oh, I said Bill at the beginning of the show. I think I said the name Bill. Okay, Tanya, here's what I'm going to say to you. Um, so the first thing I'm hearing is... Uh, even if he didn't listen to this, there's something with this. I hear country music. And then the next thing I'm hearing is, um, it's like not regular country music though. It's like hope. I don't know if this, this doesn't even make sense to me, like hoedown music. I don't know what a hoedown music is. <laughs> like hoedown music. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Um, so then the next thing I'm hearing is, okay, what would you want to... So Tanya, the first thing that your dad is saying to you is to take your time. Don't worry about rushing through things or uh, pushing things being in a hurry with anything now this could mean and i'm this these aren't i'm just saying like don't rush through life or don't push a situation to happen too quickly or whatever it is just take your time allow things to happen naturally whatever it is also tanya i hear him say flip the script whatever that means for you flip the script and then the next thing the next thing that i'm hearing is understand things the way they are not the way you want them to be why 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 what why can't we just understand things the way we want them to be <laughs> sorry tanya that was a little bit personal there <laughs> okay um the next thing your dad would say to you is he loves you and he wants you to know he should have the, what i'm hearing is he should have said and or done more he i don't know if this was for a specific part of your life or just in general he should have been there more he should have done more he should have he should have said more um and then the next thing, Tanya, that he wants you to know, he just keeps saying, baby, I don't, that should mean something to you, even if it doesn't mean anything to us. And then he's showing me a pink flower with a, a lot of petals on it, like little petals. Like, could this be a carnation, like a pink carnation, like a pink I don't know. It, it reminds me kind of of a carnation, um, but it has, I know there are other flowers that have those little bitty petals, petals, yeah, petals on them. Like they open up and there's just all these petals on them, like a carnation. Carnations aren't the only ones that do that, but I see that. Um, and to take care of you, take care of yourself or take care of you. Tanya, that is, uh, 
Oh, they had a garden together. Thank you for uh, thank you for confirming that. I appreciate that so much. Um, uh, <clears throat> he loved all kinds of music, and I keep my eyes closed, especially what, during uh, the chat questions. And at the end, I'll look at confirmation. So thank you, Tanya, so much for confirming that. That is so awesome. And the, the, he still talk. It, he's like giving like as his energy is pulling away. Um, grandma loves you. Gra grandma loves you. I don't know. Um, he keeps saying grandma, 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 and love you or loves you, loves you. Those could be two different things or they could be a confirmation about grandma and then loves you however that works for you that's that's what he is saying okay i'm going to go to the next caller who is three, three four seven three four seven what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony this is katie how are you i'm uh, good so how good. are you I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I wanted to ask, remember I did like a session with you about um, an exam? Yes. Uh, you, yeah. So I took the exam and everything, and I guess the grades are going to come out soon. I just kind of wanted to, I've just been um, doing a lot of clearing and healing, and um, I feel like I, I don't know if I'm linking, like, do I have a block with receiving something with money okay. in the exam like is I'm just wondering if there's a connection with money I in the exam that. and is that what you know what yeah. I love that let's now you guys you know I'm on TikTok and there are a ton of clearings on TikTok um and th then yeah. I put them on the other socials also but the other socials like they they don't stay so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to uh, do a clearing for receiving. We are receiving. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, release that. We kept this. Let's clear that. If you feel this, hey, if anybody feels this, comment or let me know. The next thing we're going to do is um, there's a block on money. I get a, I get a strong yes. Let's start clearing, healing, releasing that. <laughs> Um, all let's clear all that caused and kept that. Let's let's take it from the roots and pull it out. Oh, and you guys, whenever I do these, it it I do feel it. So even if I've already cleared this for me or there's something else, I do feel clearings I do for other people. Um I'm gonna and and Kate, Katie. In case you didn't listen to the beginning mm -hmm. of the show, there was a big one about uh, moving forward and releasing blocks. But I'm gonna do one more thing okay. here, which is to clear anything that's stopping or blocking the good, the gracious, and the destiny of you from clear this from you, anybody, and everybody listening and or watching. Let's take all of that now. Um, okay, clear that too. Uh, take all of that. I hope this is helpful. If anybody is feeling it, yes, uh, let me know. And then I'm going to tell you there's just one more thing they're saying. Um, okay, gotcha. We need to, um, this is such a huge one, and I might like. I might start to cry, um, but we need to heal love. Okay, so they're just saying heal yeah. love. So let's, this is for you, anybody listening, watching, uh, re-listening, re-watching, you can come back at any time and do this again. Sometimes it goes in layers, sometimes it all goes together. Let's heal clear, let's heal love and clear and release anything that caused and kept this, anything, any reasons, any justifications. Now, when it comes to things like love and let's just say life in general, one of the things I've realized with myself and with other people is that if we make a mistake or we have an experience that we don't completely love, we will hold on to what happened so we don't re-experience it. And my easiest example is 
If we get cheated on, we'll never let go of that so we don't get cheated on again. If we lose money, we'll be hyper vigilant about where we're always putting money or how we're doing money so we don't get lose it again or get ripped off again. So that creates blocks. So we're going to pull all of that. If we were really hurt by someone, um, we hope there's a part of our subconscious until that heals that we hold on to it so that it doesn't uh, happen again but but having it there so it doesn't happen again actually brings it to us because this life is about healing everything so we're just going to start to heal all of this and then it will fade away um so that is what they are doing right now i hope that you you are feeling this and i am thank you you thank are you. so I think, you know what i've been doing this I've been to saying these things, and you know what I noticed? I've been saying something. Or you could have, uh, I've been saying I unbind myself, like to mm. be oaths and vows, and I really feel it. Come, things coming up in my throat, like I could feel it. So maybe you know, okay. I think you know people could say that too to help you know heal themselves. I'm gonna do that right now because that is such a huge <laughs> thing, and it's a. It could it could be handed down generationally, um, ancestrally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where we've like in the past our ancestors didn't have all the opportunities. You know they were kind of put in a category and kept there. So yeah. all ties, bindings, and such are. I get a no, and oh, that is like feeling like very Bernie on the back of my neck for everybody listening, watching, re-listening, watching. Break, clear, release all of this. <clears throat> and let's do it. Let's do this. This will be fun. Through all of our DNA, ancestral line, generational line, backwards, forwards, sideways. Pull it all now. Heal, clear, release all of this. Okay. Okay. This is like the healing show today, and I'm loving it, everybody. I'm so loving it. There's one more thing I'm just going to do. Thank you, so. You're welcome. I'm going to do one more thing really quick. All heartache has been healed. I'm definitely getting a no, and we're going to pull that. And I'm going to tell you, People will say, but I'm over it. They'll tell a story and they'll say, but I'm over it. The truth is, if you were over it, you wouldn't be talking about it. It wouldn't even be in your existence. <laughs> and 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 it would be done. So let's, oh my God, the heartache one is kicking my booty. Oh my God. So we're going to just let all of this heal, clear, release. And we are going to uh, do that. I hope this was so helpful, Katie. I hope this is just Thank what you, you and everybody one. else needed. Thank you. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. 516, you are going to be the next caller. Hold on one second. I'm going to answer one question on the chat and this is from Lynn Marie and the question is, hey, Tony, wondering if I will be meeting someone in Arizona or Minnesota. I'm a snowbird. Thank you, Lynn. Okay, Lynn, is she going to be meeting someone? Yes. I feel like you're going to meet somebody in Minnesota. It's definitely in a in a snowy area and out of the two options that you've given me minnesota is the stronger area i do feel like um lynn i don't like always giving these messages but especially on air um but i am getting a warning for you and the warning that i'm getting is be careful while traveling uh, be careful during travel, whether, and I'm not saying anything devastating is going to happen. It could just be like, be careful of speeding, be careful of this, be careful of that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, uh, keep your 
peepers peeped. Someone keep your peepers peeped. Keep a lookout. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, and just be very vigilant while you travel, Lynn. That's the message I get for you. And you know what? I'm going to say this. I say that for for everybody who is traveling, not only... Uh, um, <laughs> come on, words. Um, not only women, but also for um, men. But it... Women are a little bit more vulnerable and it is, uh, they, they tend to be, if somebody is being sketchy, it's for, for the sketchy person, if they have a choice be to, to do something to a female or a male, they're gonna, you know, to pick the, what they feel is the easier target. So please, everybody, you know, we're going in here, we're going into the warmer in this part of the world, we're going into the warmer seasons, people travel by car, there's a lot more travel, just be aware of your surroundings, be vigilant, but especially um, you Lynn, while you're, um, if you're traveling, um, and this could just mean like back and forth to the, the uh, get gas or whatever it is, just keep your eyes open. Um, so that you are, are, are safe. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller. 516, 516. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Kavita from New York. How are you? Yeah, Kavita. I'm nice. I'm, I'm nice. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. I just put a question in, but, um, my office, uh, they renewing the contract um, and the rent is going to go up. I'm having a hard time finding another place. Should I just stay here? And this is, it's you said nice office. it's your office, not your home, right? No, not my home. It's my office. Okay. Should I, so I'm going to just ask it a, a little bit. I'm just going to ask in a couple of different ways, Kavita, so I can make sure I'm getting the correct <laughs> answer. Should come. Is it time for Kavita to relocate? Will she find something less? Kavita, I don't feel like you're going to find something that has the amenities for less. Everybody, every place is raising rents so much. And that's because, again, yeah. of um, the amounts that they're raising in taxes. Okay. So, mm -hmm. of course, uh, landlords are going to try to recoup from tenants, whether they be business or private. So what I'm hearing mm -hmm. is you can look, but you won't find anything that's more pleasing, especially aesthetically pleasing to you. Mm -hmm. So that is what they're saying to me. It's not time yet. Um, okay. In about a year, in about a year, you'll probably make a change that is the best for you. Now you can, again, you can look and keep your eyes open over the next, in the, uh, over the next bit of time. And I feel like you're gonna find something that's really good next year, but not this year, okay? Not this year, okay. Yeah. This year things yeah, are- it's gonna be the rent, I think in a month, yeah. Yeah, I so. think things are just too unstable. And I feel like you don't need to move right now because I feel like, Kavita, I'm not sure about this, but I'm getting goosebumps and everything is free will and choice. So no matter what I say right now, you could change mm -hmm. your mind about it down the line. But one of the things I'm getting for you is there may be a relocation for you all the way around. You might take, oh, um, okay. wh where are you located right now? On the East Coast? I'm on, I'm, I'm on the North Shore of Long Island. Okay. Kavita, I feel like, and as I go to say this, the goosebumps just hit me everywhere. You may decide to relocate out of the East Coast altogether. I really? know. Oh, wow. Okay. I know. I know. It's in your radar now. It wasn't before. It is now. 
I feel like something's going to come in about this between the six and nine month mark. And when it does, you're just going to go, oh, what? And this could be a number of different things. I'm not going to go what, into what it is, but I do feel like don't relocate your office now because in about a, uh, in a time, you may decide to relocate everything. Okay, love? Okay, great. Thank you so much, Tony. You're so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day, my love. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay, 773, you're going to be next. Please have patience. I'm going to go to um, uh, Blessed, I think it's Blessed Girl. Hey, Blessed Girl, how are you? Hello, Tony, will I get a job? Time frame, please. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. Blessed Girl, oh, wow, okay, wow, that's a far way down. Okay, uh, Blessed Girl, please tell me what, what type, of work are you looking for so i can tap a little bit more into it for you um hey goodness gracious how are you today um a blessed girl i'm gonna tell you yes you are going to be getting a job i see i hear a month and a half now this could be you start in a month and a half or you find it within that month and a half time when is she gonna start um when is she gonna find it Okay, I'm feeling like you might find it in in a week, but the process might take a little bit longer to get you in. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. But within a month and a half, I feel like um, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be that time frame. Okay, I'm gonna go to seven seven three seven seven three. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, um, I'm calling from Illinois. Hey there. What's your first name, love? Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. How can I help you today? Hi. Um, well, I am like a blessed girl. I'm uh, looking for a new role and feeling frustrated. And I was wondering if you could sense any energy around that. Okay. So you're looking for a, a job, a, a, a job, basically. You want to get hired by a company. I want to make sure I'm understanding everything correctly. Correct, Elizabeth? That's correct. Okay. Elizabeth, are you working right now? Yes, I am. Okay. Elizabeth, um, I'm just asking questions silently. So then once I start asking questions and I'm in the energy, things will just start popping out of my mouth, just how it works for me. Okay. Elizabeth, your, your next position is going to be like a promotion, even if you don't have the title that would be a promotion, it's not going to be within the company that you're in. It's going to be with a new company, but you're going to get more be better benefits. The benefits are going to be better. And then you will the pay. Be yeah, of course, the pay is going to be better. I don't know why they say it like that. Of course, the pay is going to be better because nobody people will stay in the most miserable situation for that extra like whatever money but it's that's the reality we live in and we're okay with it um i feel like you are going to be finding something well they're saying it very vaguely this this year it is going to be something that you uh, is it going to be a new f no okay why so long Elizabeth, do you do, are you in a field where there are not very many of your positions out there or are you looking for something that might not, it's, there just are not that many out there? I don't know how to narrow down what I do. I'm, so I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm in like content strategy, communication management, those sorts of things. Um, but I'm just not sure how to navigate the job search. Okay. Here's what I'm getting for you. Take everything you do, everything you've done, 
all of your skills, abilities, talents, uh, all of those and put it into a Google or AI search and say best job. Like if, you know, communication okay. strategist, yada, yada, put it in there, say, say um, skills or uh, um, what do they call it when you've done that already? Um, like the skills, whatever it's called, job titles, whatever you call it, put it into either an AI search or a Google search and a search engine. They keep saying AI and say, what's the best position? And then whatever comes up and there should be more than one position that that comes up with. And that's what you're, you're going to start to hone in on. Another thing that I'm hearing is consulting would be really good for you if you're prepared for that or you want that um, because you can consult in a lot of the things that you have done um, and that would be okay also for you. And it might be a bump up. Also that you may be involved in training some people in the future. You may be someone and, and you know what, Elizabeth, if you're not doing this for a company, you may decide to do it like on your own to start training people kind of on your own in certain areas like the, I don't know, just whatever it is, whether it be with a uh, nonprofit group or on your own or in your comp in the company that you work for or starting a training program, whatever it is, I feel like there's part of your future now this may be separate from the the job you're going to have or the career you're going to have um but you, you're it, training may may just end up being a part of it whatever that means for you personally the next thing that i'm getting and that may be why this is going to take it you, you're already secure in a position keep that solid it may take a moment for some of this to roll out but I do feel like within six months, and I feel like it's between the four and six month mark, you're going to find a position that makes you really happy. You're going to find a position that makes you really, 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 really happy. Um, so please know that you're going to be very happy with it. And that, again, it might take a bit of time, but sometimes you have to be really clear about what you do, who you are, what what kind of like what title that falls under, and then you can know what that's worth and run forward with it. So that's what I'm hearing for you. Okay, love. Okay. Excellent. I Thank hope you. that, you're so welcome. I hope that was helpful. Um, it feels good. It really does, and then it. it it just makes it adds more optimism because I feel like I'm just throwing mud at a wall, yeah, uh, helping things stick. Uh, so I'm just, you know, there's a lot coming in the future. So I'm really hoping to be able to financially address all of it. Um, hopefully, it all aligns. And I do um, feel like I, I do know when you're someplace and it's not, it doesn't feel right because everything is based on feeling, and you're going in and maybe it's not exactly what you want or how you want it um you can get uh, people can 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 get a little frustrated and then when you do have so many different skills and talents and abilities it can be difficult to hone that all in so what i'm really getting for you is really get clear about that and then under each skill or experience that you have Look under those individually, and then wherever it says they're hiring, look at their thing and see if there's anything a notch up. Like, let's say commun the communication thing. I'm sorry, I forget what it was called, but go to the communication thing, put it in, see what comes in, go, go to that company, and then see whatever else they're hiring for where more of your skills may be viable. That's another way you can also do it. And again, I will say this until I am, um, go directly to companies that A, you want to work for, 
and go to if if a company is listed on a job search site go directly to that company and see what else they are hiring for and and let that be your search also okay sweetie okay thank you you are so so welcome and don't forget um in the future there is the um opportunity for you to tr be involved in training. So when you're doing your job search, when you're literally looking, look under training, and I'm gonna just use communication because that's the one I remember, training, communication, and see what comes up. And you might be pleasantly surprised by that also. And um, thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate that. Uh, La 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 la. I don't know where I am. Um, goodness gracious. Do you see anyone new of significance coming in? Coming in soon. Okay. Goodness gracious. Is anybody of significance coming into? I, I believe you're talking about a romantic partner that is a significant one, long lasting. Yes, there's the potential for someone to come in April, May. So we're halfway through April. Um, April into May, this person has the potential to come in. Remember, you have to be out and about. Um, and I'm, I'm going to say this again. Don't go places you normally wouldn't go to meet someone. Like if you're, if you love going to bars, <clears throat> that's the perfect place to meet someone because you're going to meet somebody who loves, who's in a bar and, and you can do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Maybe I'm not supposed to be saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Whatever you love to do that you can do as a couple's thing, like if it's sporting events, if it's this, that, the other thing, do that. Go do that and have that be the thing that where the place where you meet someone. That is going to be the best thing because it's somebody who's already doing what you like, but be out and about go to places where people are out talking to other people, like, for example, farmers markets, um, maybe festivals. Um, it doesn't have to be big festivals. It can be smaller festivals. Um, don't go to church to meet someone if you're not a church person. Don't do that because then they will expect you to always go to church with them. If you, that's not part of you, then don't do that. Um, if you're really into spiritual things, go to spiritual things. If you're really into, and there are, like uh, one of my friends goes to some pretty big expos and there is a really good mix of men, women there that that you could, you could potentially meet someone, um, which is a, which is a good thing. So make sure you're getting out there, especially end of, end of April, beginning of May. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me today. I will be back. I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central. If I did not get to you today, I apologize. I will be... <clears throat> I will be back Wednesday and hopefully I will get to you then.